All right, welcome back to Cricket for Americans. C fam, Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And here for CFA Nation, we have another R3 Three wickets, wickets for you. We, I keep saying to Gabe, I even told him today, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do it today. I got some stuff going on. Some of that got stuff got pushed over a little bit. I got some work stuff I got to take care of. We're off the clock, but we just got to talk about this match. So we're going to see if we can go record time today. I Ooh. will say, I said yesterday in our three wickets, amongst a lot of things I said, I had said that the IPL is so deep that the, this, the margin between first and last place is like this. We had an eighth place team beat a first place team. Point, point proven. I, I, bro, I'm dumbfounded. Now, here's the thing. Not with the result. I'm not mad at the result. Because I even said in our broadcast this morning, man, the Sunrisers are deep. Their batting lineup is deep. If they can get their bowling together, they're going to win some games. There's no reason they should be. They should not have a win. I like DC. I still hold that they're going to be one of the last, last men standing, one of the last teams standing. But you're right. Okay, first place team just lost to eighth place team. And bro, this is this, there's so much parody. But what I am dumbfounded about, and we're gonna get to this in a little bit, and what I didn't like, you know why the Sunrisers won today? Can I give you a little hint outside of just the bowling, which I talk? Oh, it's it's called Kane Williamson. Why has he been, he been sitting the first two games? Explain that to me. All right. Don't I don't want to hear no politics, I don't want to hear no garbage. Tell me that there's three other dudes or, or four other dudes in this lineup or that, that's better than Kane Williamson. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously? Bro, it, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Now, again, they said he was injured. I want to say the first two games. He was the first two matches he was injured. I think they had said that. No, that that I because I, I've been listening to unless they're lying on the on the hot star at the beginning, every SRH uh um at, uh, um, pregame, they talk about is he playing? Is he gonna play? Uh, 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 it's a decision. Just like Chris Gale's not injured, it's their choice to. No, sit. I'm. I mean, honestly, the first match, I, I want to say it was in all the comment section. Yes, he's injured. He's got something going on somewhere. The second match, I don't know if he was still nursing that or whatever. Uh, there's no way you leave this guy out for any other reason. If there is another reason, then you know that experiment fails. Yeah. We've seen this in cricket before, okay? I'm sorry. Was uh, a, a Stuart Broad hurt when they left him off the English English team? No, he wasn't. It was the the, 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 the selection committee's decision. And, it, bro, it's politics, and it drives me crazy. It absolutely does. These guys want to be uh, um, smarter than the next guy, right? They want to, oh, look at this and look at those stats. And, you know, bro, put your best guys out there. Bottom line, and there's no way you could tell me that there's three other foreigners, okay, three other overseas players or four other overseas players on that team that's better than Kane Williamson. Stop it. Stop it. Bro, it, 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 it's, it's, oh, let's start with that. What I didn't like because I'm already in. I was going to say, let's just go ahead and start with dislike because you already gave us the SRH side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? SRH fixed it. Fixed it, all right? This guy should be playing, and, and, and I don't understand. Without question. Without question, he should be playing. Guess what? Some bowlers I've never heard of that they didn't play the first two games. Why didn't these guys play? They bowled the day. They put in work today. I mean, dude, it's, it's just I don't understand how these selection committees do this. It, it That's what drives me crazy. And, I mean, looking at their bowling today, nobody was close I want to say nobody was close to the uh, – okay, there you go, 43 for Ahmed. He was one of the additions today. By the way, got himself a wicket. And um, I think it was Sharma who hadn't played before. And look at that, 434, economy rate of 850. Now, Rashid Khan, holy cow, he had been lit up before. We'll save that for what I liked. But what I'm, I'm saying say, is, let's, let's stay focused here. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, get it together. D.C. Capitals – I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you right now, your boy Pant is driving me crazy. They had a chance <laughs> to win this game. They had a chance to win this game, and it was up to Pant. You look behind you, and you say, all right, the guys behind me fell. There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do about that, okay? Shaw, shame on you. You were on my fantasy team. He went out for two runs, okay, on five balls, uh, all right? Uh, uh, serious liar. <laughs> oh. I already... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you guys keep killing me about it, so I'm going to say no. I'm sorry. The captain, all right? Uh, Sirius, Sirius Iyer went out for 17. 
ah, you got to do better than that. But my point is that at one point, it's Pant and Stonis. That's it. And they know, hey, we got to last. They were taking some really ridiculous um, uh, uh, um, risks for singles. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? There's bowlers behind you. You expect Axel Patel to give you 40 runs? Fix it. And Pant went out on a silly shot. It was a silly dismissal. And he drove me crazy. He did score 28 runs today, but it was 28 runs on 27 balls. That's about a run. That's almost a runner ball. All right. That's 100% uh, 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 um, strike rate. That ain't going to cut it. This ain't test, cousin. All right. This is T20. Too bad he had the second highest score on the squad, though. He I, mean, high, but I bro, mean, come on. I'm saying if you're the last man standing, you're the last of the Mohicans, you're not leaving no, it up to the ball. I agree with you. I completely agree with you. He was he was hitting swinging for the fences. And, and you know, he is my boy because like I really, you know, claimed that stake and it hasn't been working out too good. But I don't want to lead to the next gold mine because I might get that golden nugget eventually. And he hasn't been horrible. I mean, he's gotten at least 20 or more every single match. But today he was just like there was one point where he had two sixes at the end of an over. And I'm like, oh, no, here comes this chase. We've seen a historic chase two game, two matches in a row. And then he just kept going for that big shot, and he got him out on a silly shot, a, a silly swing. Um, sorry. So are you still going with your dislike, or is that your, uh, yeah, your dislike? I mean, it was like, listen, both him and Stonis knows Rashid, Rashid Khan is a monster. You survive his over. You don't try to go hit a six off this dude who's destroying everybody. Wait for somebody else. But no, he thought, I'm going to be a big man. I'm going to go try to take out count. And you got dismissed. Go home. Thank you very much for nothing. That was so frustrating. DC, they're still my dark horse to get into the playoffs. They're still 2-1. and one, But they had a chance to win this game. Again, it wasn't all his fault. You could blame the, the whole lineup. Because, again, you had some guys get dismissed early. But, man, when you the last of the Mohicans and it's you and, and, and Stonis, Stonis, again, wasn't much better. You guys got to put in. A, a, a put up a better performance. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on. That's that's unacceptable. Unacceptable, man. So what did I dislike? Let me just piggyback on the King Williamson thing. And I'm not making an excuse for SRH. I'm really not. But they have three guys that are overseas that are, unless they're injured, they're going to play regardless. You're going to play David Warner. He's the captain. He's going to play himself. Barristow and Khan. I and mean, we saw what Khan did today. Holy cow. Those three, got, those three positions are locked as overseas. Who's going to be the fourth one? I agree with you. If King Williamson is, is, is healthy, it's it, those four are locked too. And any other overseas, sorry, you're going to be riding the pie pony because you're not going to have a chance. But anyways, what did I dislike about SRH? I did not feel comfortable, and I was rooting for SRH today. Um, I, I've watched – I've rooted them for two the first two matches, and they lost, and they kind of got me mad. So I was like, I'm hoping maybe Gabe will root for SRH so I don't have to today. <laughs> but I was rooting for SRH today, and I never felt comfortable the entire match until the bowling kicked in about the eighth or ninth or tenth over. And for a second, I thought they might be able to hold this. We saw these historic chases, and today I, I did not feel comfortable. Why? Because they're their batsmen. I feel like I feel like they they got a lucky win today. I feel like they're bowling. They rode. No, I shouldn't say lucky win because I always give a lot of the credit to the batting. They rolled the bowling's coattails today. That's how they got lucky. The batsmen got lucky that the bowling was, was on point. And even some of their worst bowlers that were going today, they bowled a lot better today. But, you know, Barristow, yes, he got 53. Warner, yes, he got 45. And their strike rates were both over 100. But Barristow was just barely over 100. And this is IPL. Um, I don't expect um, 50s from every single person. I don't. But I do expect higher – I do want and expect higher strike rates because if you're going to be eating up those precious 120 balls, let's make it worth something. Let's not get out and let's give away our wicket like Pant did earlier. But let's go ahead and, you know, let's make these, these balls worth it. Because SRH, they only had, you know, six guys go to strike. And the last two were just in at the very, very end there. But you got Williamson, his strike rate was 157. You got Warner, 136. Barry Stowe was only 110. What I did not like was the fact, first of all, that Barry Stowe's strike rate wasn't high enough, but the guy got a 50. So, I mean, I, I kind of give him a pass. What I did not like was Panday. And I'm making a lot of decisions based on my fantasy. I know I am. I had him on my fantasy team. I know a few guys in the comment section the same thing. But this is not about fantasy. This is about the fact that, once again, 
He was one of those few guys that was able to get to strike. And I feel like his, uh, you know, his wicket was wasted. I feel like it was completely wasted. He got three runs on five balls. He had a strike rate of 60. He didn't even get a chance to get going. And I, and I understand in cricket, sometimes you just don't get going. Sometimes the bowler is better than you. You tip your hat off to him. You got me out. But, you know, Panday, we've seen this guy can rake. This guy can bat. And you need something more than that. If you're in a situation where you're 0-2, you're bottom of the points table with, side note, CSK is the bottom right now, just saying. When you're <laughs> at the bottom of the points table and you're hoping to get a good start, and Warner and Bearstow, they've done decent enough, but it wasn't impressive. And you saw the last two matches go 200 apiece. We got to put a performance in. We need better than three. Okay. We need better than three. I didn't dislike a whole lot from SRH side, but I didn't like that too much. And again, maybe the, the fantasy implications had a part to do with it. Um, you know, I'm not going to pick Khalil Ahmed as my dislike because I like that guy. I chose my purple cap winner. By the way, he should have got two wickets. The man, I don't know who it was, but my man dropped his wicket all in the 20th over. He could have got two. Got close to that purple cap. For my prediction to be true, I'm just saying. But anyways, he did get himself one wicket. What did I dislike on the Delhi Capital side? I, you know, Shaw is an easy target. Two runs on five balls, right? Um, Hetmeyer, I don't think he's an easy target. He had a pretty decent strike rate, but I think he gave away his wicket on that one too. Pant, you already mentioned that, so I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go with the captain, Shreyas Iyer. And this is why. There are some amazing captains in the IPL right now. You're talking about um, a guy like KL Raul, who his team should be 3 0 if you know certain things happen a certain way. You're talking about Steve Smith, who is struggling with his return back to international cricket, but his captaincy and his ability to bat has really gone strong for the Royals. You're talking about even, even a David Warner. I've seen him make improvements. I loved his energy today. I loved how he was out there. He was smiling. He was patting guys. He was, you know, messing around with the hats. I liked his energy today, and his ability to bat was there on display. Shreyas Iyer, for me, after three matches that I've watched this guy play, or two that I've seen and one from the stream, he has not impressed me yet. And I know it's early. I know it's super early. But he has not been um, a force on the batting side from what I've seen. And I have not been able to see, at least today in there, you know, we can call it a debacle of only 147 runs. I was not able to see a lineup that was prepared for the bowlers they faced, just in my opinion, looking through my eyes. A lot of the, the batters got up there. You had eight or nine guys go up there because people kept losing their wickets. I did not see these guys prepared. Maybe you can say it's on the coaches. Maybe you can say it's on the captain. Maybe the captain is more responsible for on the field. Whatever you want to call it. I just haven't been impressed. But I think Delhi Capitals, I think they have a really good squad. They were first place. Now they're, I think, second or third place. I feel like they were just flat today. Yeah. And I, I got to blame it on the captain. I, I know, you know, whatever people are going to be like, oh, that's not fair, blah, blah, blah. But you, you got to blame it on the captain, the coach, the captain. They take the biggest responsibility. And they just seemed flat today. They weren't able to get things going. And maybe that was the bowling attack. Maybe that was just too much con. I have no idea. But that's what I disliked. I mean, let me kind of piggyback on what you're talking about with the captain, right? So literally every single match has been decided by the coin flip, okay, where as a captain, forget about the do, it doesn't matter. People are putting up huge runs in those first innings, and the only way to chase is by putting up historic chasing, okay? The, yes, the last two days, ch uh, um, huge totals have been chased down, but think about all the one, runs that, uh, the totals that haven't been run yeah, down. you're not going to make a living off that. PSK had to put up 201 and still couldn't chase down because it was too old. At this point, you have to, as a captain, adapt and say, listen, these are different conditions out here, and maybe if I win the toss, the, the best idea is to put bat first and get that huge run total first, all right? The bowlers are struggling to find their lines, and, 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 and you know, they're getting hit around the place. Again, this is, again, one of the smaller uh, um, chases at 162, but still, as a captain, you're right. He should have gone out and said, do I really want my guys to have to go out and have this historic chase where yesterday had to go to a super over for the love of Pete to address the game? It's just not happening. And I know traditionally you get the ball, you get the ball first, you want to bowl first, you know what I'm saying? And chase, that's not the smart thing this year. Look at all the games. The only games that those big, huge totals get um, chased down for the most part is it's been like 
uh, unbelievable performances. A guy had to get 99. Um, your boy let yesterday, it's Sean, right? Had to get 99 in order to make it happen. Come on, you're the captain. You need to be able to recognize that. And I think sometimes people just get stuck in those habits of, you know, the traditional thing is, you know, there's do, whatever. We win the coin flip. We decide to field first. And, 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 and that may just not be the way. If I was captain, I'm, I'm batting first. Let me put up a huge total and make the other side chase me and lose their wickets because now they're looking at this huge total saying, oh, man, you know what I mean? I cannot play my game. And you mentioned that the other day, Nick, so I agree with you. All right, so, Gabe, what did you like from this match? There's lots oh, of light. This is what I liked right here. Oh, and I don't have a white ball, but I got a cricket ball in my hand. The bowling. So, you and I watch DC Capital, right? And my boy Rapata is nasty. He gave my man. <laughs> I don't know if, if Warner, Warner's wife might be texting him. Are we all right to have another kid? Because my man got some sweet, instead of sweet chin music, Stop. it was some sweet music. Oh, man. And Rapata was smiling. He's like aggressive with it. You know what I mean? He's like, just like Joffrey Archer, he's those guys that go out and intimidate you, man. Let me tell you something. None of these guys today, none of these guys today were, 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 are in the Dinda Academy. You know what they're in? They're mm. in the Emil Kumblik Academy, all right? Them guys were getting wickets out there today. Oh, I love <laughs> Rapat is a monster. This, Rashid, oh my, wow, oh my God. I love the bowling on both sides. The batting did not impress me, but the bowling was out there. These guys knew what they were doing. And I think that as the tournament goes on, they're learning their lengths. They're learning, okay, this is how this pitch is planned. And it took them a little while to figure that out, okay? But last time we saw Rashid Khan, he got lit up like a Christmas tree. We were clowning that he was in the uh, um, the, the Dandy, is it Dandy Academy. He was in Jordan line, cousin. Not today. Let's read that line. Four <laughs> overs. 14 runs. Holy cow. Three wickets. Are you kidding me? And that he was having a whole lot of fun. Disgusting. 350 economy rate. That was a disgusting line. Rashid Khan, I apologize for even comparing you to Jordan. I don't think Jordan's ever even dreamed about having four overs and 14 <laughs> runs. He's like, what? what? Oh, 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 you don't mean one. You don't mean fourteen runs and one over. You mean four Stop. overs, and fourteen runs. The Stop. math is backwards. Jordan can't do that kind of math. Just Stop. being serious, all right? Oh my god! Oh, my god. Holy cow, bro! The bowling and I mean Rapata on oh both sides. SRH showed up with the bowling, and so did uh, um uh, uh the DC Capitals. I will say this. The drops are driving me crazy. That's another thing I could kill your boy for. Uh, 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 and I call him your boy. Every time somebody does something I don't like, I'm going to call him your boy. All right? <laughs> you're a liar. You were a liar when you said you could catch. Yep, he had that he, drop. He had that huge drop. Okay? And what happens? You drop a guy, and they go off. You remember who he dropped? I do. It was Bearstow. Bearstow had the second highest, or was oh, it the gosh, first highest? Oh, gosh, Bearstow. Those Six silly three. swings. Hey, was, you, stole my, you stole my joke. He was a serious liar about saying he could catch. That was my <laughs> joke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a good one this morning. But you know what I mean? Like, bro, it, honestly, there could have been even more wickets. Like you said, at the very end, another wicket that was dropped. If I'm a bowler, I'm like, bro, this is how I get paid. I'm trying to get that purple cap, cousin. Catch the ball. Catch the ball. Oh, my gosh. But, guys, the bowling was on display today. Anybody that said that there's no skill in bowling in T20, watch today's game, cousin. Watch those wickets fall. Oh, it was a thing of beauty. It was a thing of beauty. Nick, what did you like? You know, once again, we're on the same wavelength. Rabada is incredibly impressive, okay? I, I, from what I've seen, from the highlights of the first match and the last two matches, and I'm always going against you because you're always picking DC. I mean, he's that guy I hate. I mean, I just can't stop him. You cannot stop this guy. Like you said, his economy rate was 5.2. He had two wickets, only gave up 21 runs. You want to know who's leading for the Purple Cap right now? That same man, Rabada. You want to know what his economy rate is? It's just over six. This guy's been doing what he did today so far in every single match. And he's averaging more than two per match. This guy is on some kind of tear. I don't know if he can keep this pace up. But this man is super impressive. Whether you're looking just at the stat sheet or you're watching the guy, you're sitting there watching this guy like, oh, not this guy again. Like, we got to survive six balls from this guy. And that's what Khan was on the other side. Not this guy again. But, I mean, Rabada is no joke. 
Even Stoinis, look at him with three overs, only 22 runs, the economy rate of seven. But you know who I really liked? You already said Rabat. I mean, that's the obvious one. You know who I really liked, again, on the bowling side? Because, again, I thought, like, DC's um, batsmen were kind of flat today. I really like this Mishra guy, okay? He gave a lot of runs. He gave up 35. But, you know, if you came with the 30s, in my opinion, four overs, you can be forgiven. His economy was under 10. He got two wickets. But I, believe it or not, I think this guy was a guy that was throwing some nasty googlies. He was a guy that got out Warner when even I thought it didn't touch the, the glove, but it did. This guy was throwing some nasty stuff. This guy was giving them something that they were not expecting. And DC, I felt like after these historic runs, historic chases and all that kind of stuff, I feel like DC, and maybe I do got to give credit for uh, uh, Shreyas Iyer on this one. If he has anything to do with the bowling attack, he has a great bowling attack, and he set it up very nicely. He was able to put them in at nice times, even though SRH got 162. I don't think they had any gigantic overs. They were able to limit that. And, you know, Mishra and Nortje and Rabada and, uh, I mean, even Ashant or whatever. These guys, they really, really did a great job. So the bowling was fantastic. As far as the S SRH side, you already talked about Khan. I mean, this is two days in a row where we had a guy go four overs and give up less than 15 runs. Sundar did it yesterday. I'm still waiting for my four more Sundars. It hasn't been brought to my table yet. But now Khan did it today. So maybe that's one of my Sundars I ordered, but we got with a name that guy from a guy named Khan. This guy, unbelievable. This guy was having fun. And the last thing you want to face, whether it's a pitcher or a bowler, is one of those two guys with a smile on their face the entire time. You're just like, oh, no. This guy's happy about what he's doing today. I have no chance. It does something to the motivation, even though those guys are serious cricketers. What else I liked, you already mentioned it, too, on the dislike side. Kane Williamson. This guy couldn't get a start for one reason or another. We don't know exactly sure. But he couldn't get on the field because, you know, too many – we already have four overs, overseas guys. This guy, there's no way you pull this guy ever again. He came in cold. I don't know when the last time New Zealand played a match was. I think it's been a while. He hasn't played IPL yet. He didn't play in CPL. And how many times do we see these guys coming in cold not be able to produce? Not this guy. This guy showed up there. I mean, did you see him before he got out? His whole body was soaking wet. He was full of sweat. It's hot out there. He's given everything he had in those limited balls that he saw, like 20 or 27. He got 41. Okay. This guy really put a performance. And they only won by about 15 runs or so. He was the big difference, in my opinion. I was really impressed with um, Warner as well today. And, of course, Bear still got his 53. But Kane Williamson, he did his job. I really, really liked that. And, uh, you know, as another thing, I'm really liking the dugout thing, too, that our viewers are telling me to watch. It's a lot of fun. You got Brett Lee in there. You got some Australian guy who's just hilarious, constantly throwing different things out there. It's super awesome. I also like that. Gabe, what did you learn? I learned two things. One, and this is unfair for every bowler, why is it that it goes against them when a ball is either mishit, mishandled, it drops, there should be some kind of stat for an error because, and I'm just thinking about fantasy implications here. My guy gave up runs that he shouldn't have, okay? Because your boy Pant can't stop a ball. It's right back there. He can't feel, he can't hit, he's driving me crazy, okay? That go, that, I, I learned that those runs goes, go against them, and I'm like, what? If, it do, if the runs don't count for the batsman as runs that the batsman put up, why do they go against the bowler? That, that's something I don't understand. Does that make sense? Like, you, it's got to yeah, be because in baseball, if the pitcher does his job but the fielder boots it, it doesn't go against his in the day line, it's right? Right, how right. it is in cricket, I guess, right? Exactly. And I'm like, that's not you know, and I get it, drops are a part of the game, but that's a rule that, in my opinion, is antiquated and needs to change because guys' numbers would look way different. How I mean, many rules do we want to change so far? No, <laughs> listen, don't, don't get me started with Major League Baseball, there's tons of rules I want to change in there, too. Oh, yeah, it's not cricket, that's for, that's just cricket. all right. And I learned that, that I mean, from that perspective of that, but from both these teams, the one thing we said that SRH didn't have was bowling. We talked about it, right? That's what's going to keep them from winning games because they're deep. All of a sudden, they got – I knew Rashid Khan could bowl, but he hadn't shown it up until today. Then guys I had never heard of came up today and stepped up and were absolutely filthy. So I feel like they do have good enough – they should not have been 0-2 at this point. Honestly – they, right now they're one and two. Do you feel comfortable if your Mumbai Indians play them next to say, oh, yeah, this is a win? I don't. 
If it's CSK, not I don't with know. any team, not with any team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying just deep, and, and the same thing. You know, again, Delhi Capitals oh, put up a buck forty-seven. They had a bad showing. They're a balanced team, but with the Delhi Capitals, even with guys going out for low totals, they still uh, came up only fifteen runs short. When we're talking about the Delhi Capitals, I don't think anyone. Yeah, that's right. No one on the Delhi Capitals got fifty. Matter of fact, their highest score was thirty-four. 34. Pent had the second highest score at 28 for 27. They had a bad game, but this team is deep. I still believe they're going to be standing there at the end. I think they're balanced. And even though they didn't, they weren't able to put up runs, they didn't have to chase a lot because you see how good their bowling is. You know what I'm saying? So, man, hats off. This game to me was so enjoyable because finally you saw the bowlers go out and do their stuff. What, what, what? 11 wickets got taken today? What's the last match you've seen where 11 total wickets got taken? And like you said, there were drops. There should have been more wickets taken. At least, at least there should have been 13, 14 wickets taken because there were so many easy drops. When's the last time you saw that many, that, that amount of wickets hey, taken? don't forget about my RCB, their first match. They bowled the other team out. I All 10 it. wickets. And I love it. You know what I'm saying? Bowl guys out. I want to see that. I'd rather see that. But, you know, let's be honest. We talked about it this morning. Usually, you don't even get through four. You know what I'm saying? You don't get through four before you run out of those overs. You're happy if you see two. Oh, we got two wickets today. Okay, cool. <laughs> he said, you got two wickets? Nice. Uh, Nick, what did you learn? So, what I learned, usually I put like an overall thing. Today is like a random what I learned for SRH. I learned that David Warner, he's a twitchy guy. I mean, this guy, I watched in the last four overs, and it's not a bad thing. Uh, he he exudes, he's someone, and I know it's in the test too. He seems like the kind of guy who doesn't care. And what I mean by that is he doesn't let things bother him. He seems like the same guy. He has that kind of smile on his face, but that kind of that bravado, whatever that whatever that word is, he's got that about him where he doesn't seem to get too high or too low at any time. Even kill, yeah. And we have seen that. But I noticed at the end with his twitchiness, I feel like he was very, very worried about this match. Let me please get this match. We are two overs left. They need 30 runs. Let us please get through this. Because he, honestly, even when he wasn't talking to the bowler, after every ball, he was pacing 15 steps towards the bowler, not saying a word, 15 steps back. And then he would be like, oh, I forgot something. 10 steps forward. Oh, wait, never mind. 10 steps back. Every single ball. It was like a, a walking Nomar out there for crying out loud with all the twitches that Nomar used to have. This guy, and I love that. I love seeing some human emotion from this guy because the first match I was complaining that he was just he was too jolly and too happy. He had too many cotton candy or something like that. Right. And then this one, you know, he had the mustache growing. I think that's I think he's got to keep that mustache because that's giving him some power right there. Ooh. But I just noticed that he was twitchy, and I like that because he was really caring about this match. And it's hard sometimes with guys like him with his personality to see does he really does this really affect him? He seems to be all in with SRH, and I you know I, I take back what I said in the first match about his captaincy ways. I really like seeing the twitchiness of him. What did I learn from the DC Capitals? I learned that this team, and I and I don't mean this because it happened today and in the moment. I learned that this team, they need to have their batsmen need to have a serious conversation. Because you, you can say they got lucky with that super over against the Kings, where the Kings lost both their wickets in the super over. How does that happen? Come on. And then with the second match, I can't remember what their total was, but I don't think it was a humongous total. I could be wrong. I don't see what the bats and what they're doing in the other squads. I don't know if it's a shootout, if this team can hang and they weren't able to hang today. You know, you got pant who's willy nilly and I still like him a lot. He's going to put up a, a big number this season, if not a few of them, but he's willy nilly with it. It's got to go his way. Shreyas Iyer, He's still trying to figure things out. I have no idea. This Shaw guy, he kind of drives me crazy because he eats up too much balls or he gets out too early. If I'm a Delhi Capitals fan, I am very nervous about the batting squad. If I'm an SRH fan, I was nervous about the bowling side, and now Khan was on, so I'm not worried too much about it. But that's what I'm worried about, and I feel the same way about SRH. I really do. I don't have a lot of confidence with them if they get to the playoffs. The Delhi Capitals is that same way. I think the other six teams, I would have a little more confidence because they have the ability to turn it on. I just don't know where DC's batting ability is at, even though I know everyone's going to tell me, what are you talking about? They have some serious batsmen on their side. I don't know about that. I don't know. So we'll see what happens in the future. I think this was a chance where they could have easily gone 3-0 and 
and they could have kept SRH or 0-3, and that would have been a big hole. SRH, I'm so happy you won. I'm happy that you're not um, winless. We don't have any winless squads left in the IPL. It's all going forward. I absolutely love it. That's what I learned. Thanks for checking us out. Please let us know what your three wickets are. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I always want to go under 20 minutes. We miss it by 10 minutes once again. Gabe, any final thoughts? I cannot wait until tomorrow. Cannot wait till tomorrow. Listen, every day there's an exciting game. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and again, there's no such thing as a boring game. You know what I mean? None of these teams are laydowns, man. So, I mean, right now, CSK doesn't play till Friday, all right? That's my squad. So now I got to count on KKR to get me a win to make me feel till better. Friday? Yeah, they, they play till Friday, man. Well, remember, they played so many games earlier on, so now they got a long break. Hopefully, Dwayne Bravo can get over his injury. Hopefully, Tahir can get over his They're his in the injury. cellar right now, and I'm loving it right now. I'm loving oh, it. Oh, oh, it's killing me, man. But anyway, guys, that's all for us. Thanks for joining. Again, hit that like button. It really helps. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, that's six runs. Adios.